Welcome to this edition of Canyons News. I'm Samantha Bailey, and here's the latest from the Canyons Newsroom. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Deputies can never be too ready when it comes to risking the lives of community members in a dangerous situation. Zena Taher has more on how an event is helping prepare for this type of emergency. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department held training for active shooter situations at Castake Lake, north of Santa Clarita, on Tuesday, May 18th, from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. All outside visitors were advised to avoid the area to prevent any accidental injury. We try to do these scenarios monthly amongst different units, so um, every station tries to go through different scenarios within their own stations. Castake Lake provided the Sheriff's Department with a unique location to train in. We try to change it up just because no active shooter scenario is ever the same, so you want to be prepared for any type of scenario, whether it's at a workplace, whether it's at a restaurant, a school, or even if it's at a lake, at a boating center. Um, you never know where these things are going to happen, so we want to make sure that we've gone through every type of scenario possible, so we're prepared. <laughs> Training serve both to refresh and to add to the knowledge sheriff's deputies have when it comes to responding to active shooter situations. It's always um, important to prepare. Um, these skills can be perishable, so it's important that we continue to update our knowledge of these skills, update of how to neutralize a threat, how to render aid, and just make sure that we are doing our best and um, serving our quickest response in order to um, assist any victims. Information on what to do in an active shooter situation is available on the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department website. For Canyons News, I'm Zena Taher. The Saugus girls soccer team is headed to the CIF finals. But before they get there, the girls played a quite intense and unpredictable game on Saturday. Here's Juliet Schlesinger with more. It was a defensive battle that in the end came down to one shooter, one goalie, and one tremendous save. as Saugus defeated Downey on Saturday in the CIF Girls Soccer Semi-Final. The game was tied at zero past the midpoint of the second half when Downey got on the board first. But Saugus was quick to answer with a goal by Naya Bocelli. And a match that was scoreless for over an hour, now had a pair of goals in just five minutes. Downey appeared to have won the day, scoring off a corner kick at the 32-minute mark of the second half. But the Centurions battled back again, with Mackenzie Jones tying the game at 2-2 two two in stoppage time at the end of regulation. I asked the girls just to compete from whistle to whistle and never give up. And they continue to do special things, uh, and I tell them that after every game, and uh, I'm just super proud of them. Two golden goal periods ended with the score still tied, and all that stood between Saugus and the finals were penalty kicks. Saugus shooters Lauren Park, Lizzie Edwards, Sasha Marcellin, and Presley Williams answered when Downey beat goalie Rebecca Lim on three of their attempts. But Lim would not let another in, stopping the final shot and sending the Centurions team to the CIF Finals. This is probably going to be my most memorable year in soccer. Being able to go from COVID and all the stuff that's happened to our school, to going into the finals, that's just extraordinary. For Lim and her teammates, that extraordinary season culminates in a meeting with two-time state champ La Mirada on Saturday. We've had to face four league champions in a row now, and we've taken care of business. That was a great team that we beat today, and I'm just, we're just enjoying the ride, you know, just enjoying the ride. After a game like Tug of War, the ride's not over yet, as the girls start up practice next week for their final game. For Canyons News, I'm Juliet Schlesinger. The Guardians of Santa Clarita held a fundraising event this Saturday to help support local heroes in our community. 
Here's Anthony Newbile with the story. So blessings to y'all. Have a great day and thanks for being here. The Guardians of Santa Clarita held a car show and pancake breakfast on Saturday in the parking lot of Higher Vision Church on the old road in Valencia. The idea behind this event was to bring the community together as well as acting as a fundraiser to help the Guardians support the heroes that keep us safe. And we realized there was more we could do in our community to connect with the population of people that we serve, which is uh, military veterans, law enforcement, and firefighters, men and women. And then to be able to watch others come in, some of them come in broken, really in a dark place, and to watch them get their life back to see them find joy again, camaraderie, connection, relationship, uh, get outside of themselves, be able to get in the community and serve others. You see uh, a transformation take place. And seeing that really inspires me uh, to continue to do what we do and help save lives because really we are saving lives. There's no two ways about it. The first night I was there, it was like it was open, there was guys talking and it was just brought about a freedom to be able to open up and talk about issues that, that I had and share those, which helps other people also. The event was seen as a great success for the organization and it featured food, fun, and informed the community about the Guardian's mission. Yeah, the event seems to be, we got a great turnout. Things are going really good. Um, we're really excited about it. This is a great opportunity for us to get our names out there. And we have a photo booth here. Uh, we got a DJ to play some cool music. Well, we, we've been a big supporter of the uh, Guardians organization for uh, since, since they've started. And uh, they're out here uh, having a beautiful car show and pancakes uh, uh, breakfast for, for the Patriots and folks supporting our local community. And we uh, wanted to come out and support them. But we uh, looked at uh, a lot of cars and uh, talked to a lot of great people out here. And it's a good mission they're on. This has been Anthony Newbill reporting for Canyons News. A coffee kiosk barista gives us an inside look into how it has been during COVID-19 in the coffee shop. Here is Carly Akison with more to tell. Vanessa Rochella has been working as a barista at Coffee Kiosk for two years. When COVID started, our business slowed down a ton. You know, everyone's staying indoors. No one really wants to come outside. So um, our business kind of took a, a big hit with that. Despite many small food businesses closing down, Coffee Kiosk was able to keep their drive through running. So as soon as COVID started, our owner actually took it very seriously. So we immediately all had to start wearing gloves and masks 24-7 as long as we were working. Um, we've made like some different types of uh, like antibacterial sprays that we now have to wipe down almost every hour. We have to change our gloves every hour. Requiring masks at the window while in the drive through has caused a lot of mixed emotions with customers. So a few months after COVID started, Coffee Kiosk actually mandated uh, all customers through the, throughout the drive through to have masks. That was kind of difficult just because we get everyone's different opinions, whether they want to wear masks are not inside uh, their own car. But I mean, since then, about like four months ago, we actually lifted the mandate, um, you know, with everyone getting vaccinated and stuff. So it's been a lot easier. From Canyons News, I'm Carly Aukison. There you go. Have a good one. That's it for this edition of Canyons News. For more stories and information, visit us online at canyonsnews.com. I'm Samantha Bailey. Have a great night.